If you'd like to change the world, if you're tired of all of the greed and abuse, people using people, corporations using their customers and their suppliers and everybody else to accumulate more and more wealth, if you really don't like the self-centeredness and the nastiness that we find here instead of the love and peace and caring that we'd like to find here, well, the way you go about changing the world is by changing yourself. All the negative things that you see going on in the world that are upsetting to you are symptoms. They're symptoms of a low quality of consciousness. They're symptoms of a high entropy consciousness. Once we understand that this is a virtual reality, once these experiments are done and help verify that this is a virtual reality, once we as a people or as a race understand our purpose as consciousness is to grow up and evolve our quality, then people will begin to change. And as people change, these symptoms of low quality of consciousness will change all by themselves. You see, it's the quality of consciousness that's the problem, not the dictator, not the uh, president and CEO of the corporation that's abusing people, not the politicians. Those are symptoms of the problem. The problem is low quality of consciousness. Doing these experiments, showing that this is a virtual reality, understanding what that means in terms of who we are and what's important and what's not in terms of growing up and decreasing our entropy, increasing the quality of our consciousness, becoming love, caring about other people. This is what will change the world. If we want to live in a kinder, gentler world, we have to change ourselves first.